In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my plan to live on nothing but cruise ships for at least a year. So let's go. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from my cabin here on board Ruby Princess out in the middle of the Pacific. I'm on a 16 day Panama Canal cruise. It's been pretty great so far. We're on day seven, I believe. We just pulled out of Puerto Vallarta yesterday. Got a day at sea today, so it's been super exciting. So like I mentioned in the opening, this video is about my plan to live on nothing but cruise ships for at least one year. I'm not gonna live on the same cruise ship. I'm gonna hop from cruise ship to cruise ship. I'm gonna use different cruise lines. As a matter of fact, I'm booked on four different cruise lines at the moment and I plan on adding more as I go along. So let's jump into why I'm doing this. Whether you've been on my channel for a while or maybe you're new to my channel, I've been making travel videos for three years now. Every year of travel, I have traveled in a different way. My first year, I traveled in a group program called Remote Year, where we traveled for 12 months. We lived in a different country every 30 days, and it was pretty cool. It was great traveling with the same group of individuals. I went home in March 2020, and COVID hit. I'd only been travel vlogging for one year. I was a new travel vlogger, and I didn't have any way to travel. So I bought an RV, a van, a Winnebago Travado, and I started traveling the country, the United States, in my Winnebago Travado. After a year, I sold my van, I moved over to the country of Thailand to ride out the rest of whatever was gonna happen during the pandemic, and I lived in Thailand for a year. I went from city to city and tried out different things in Thailand, and then I came back to the US, and now I was looking for a new way to travel. It's always in, been in the back of my mind to return to sea, whether it was on a sailboat or maybe a cruise ship, but I figured now was the time to you know, try to live on a cruise ship for at least a year. So that's the genesis of the idea of trying to live on a cruise ship for a year. So it should be pretty awesome. Okay, so your, your next question might be, well, how much is it gonna cost you to cruise for a year straight and live on nothing but cruise ships? So to be honest with you, I haven't done it yet. So I'm not 100% sure, but my goal is to keep the cost at about $100 a day. So about $3,000 a month. What does that cost include? So that $100 a day includes cruise fare, port fees, taxes, and gratuities. Those are the four costs that you're always gonna have to pay on a cruise. Everything else is optional. Shore excursions, drink packages, internet, all of that kind of stuff are optional fees that you don't, you, you don't have to pay. And we'll talk about those later in other videos. But when I talk about what it costs to live on a cruise ship for me, I'm including those four costs. So far I have booked eight cruises and I've been able to keep that cost below $100 a day. For instance, the cruise I'm on right now, this Panama Canal cruise, 16 day, cruise fare, port fees, taxes, and gratuities all included. It costs me $74 a day. I'll do another separate video on the cost of this cruise, but I just wanna give you an idea of, of what it costs to cruise nowadays for a solo person. That's another thing, I am cruising completely solo. The cost that I'm talking about is as a solo. If I was traveling with someone else that was paying their own way, it would actually be cheaper, but I'm a solo traveler and that's how I like to travel. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Okay, so let's talk about the type of cruises I'm going to be doing. First, we'll start off with the length of the cruises. So every cruise that I'm going to book is probably going to be seven days or longer and most of them are gonna be much longer than seven days. The reason for that is they tend to be cheaper cost per day, that's one of the big reasons. And uh, the second reason is it just tends to be a more older crowd, travel crowd, less kids, and that's just the kind of cruising that I prefer to be on. Although I will probably do some shorter cruises just to give you an idea of what those kind of cruises are like. And if they fit into my schedule, you know, I have no problem booking a three, four day cruise. Currently, the shortest cruise I have booked is an 11 day cruise on MSC Meraviglia. I have a few 14 day cruises booked on Princess. I have a 20 day cruise booked on NCL. All the cruise companies do it differently. 
Like for instance, Princess, I have a bunch of 14 day cruises booked. It's actually two seven day cruises that they allow you to book as a 14 day cruise. Maybe there's a seven day cruise going to the Eastern Caribbean and that ship comes back and they do another seven day to the Western Caribbean. Well, you can book that as a 14 day cruise, but it's really two seven day cruises. So I have a lot of cruises like that that are 14 day cruises, but they're actually seven day cruises. I've also booked some back to back to back to back on a Royal Caribbean ship. I booked an eight day cruise, a 12 day cruise and an eight day cruise, which are back to back to back. And so it'll be 28 days total on board the exact same ship, but all three of the cruises go to different places. That's why I booked it that way. And I kind of like the idea of being on a ship a little bit longer. Okay, let's talk about what I'm gonna bring on the cruise. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I am a carry on only traveler and that's not gonna change. I plan on traveling carry on only. We'll see how that works in the cruise life. I know a lot of people that cruise often will be like, I can't believe you're doing that, but I am gonna do that. I'm not bringing my traditional 20 liter backpack to travel. You're just coming to my channel. I traveled for three years with a 30 or 20 liter backpack and did just fine, but I decided to get a rollable carry-on that I could still travel carry-on only, but was a little bit bigger. I think it's 44 liters. So for me, that's a lot of space. I did make a video I'll link it somewhere up here where I go through exactly what I brought on this cruise. This 16 day cruise is kind of my shakedown cruise, figuring out what I need to bring for a year of travel. I figured 16 days was perfect. And so I'm gonna do a video completely dedicated to that, but I wanted to address it really quick because I know someone would ask down in the comments, but I did an entire video about what I packed on this cruise and I will do an update again in the future. Lastly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you this is only my third cruise ever. I have two more cruises, one on Carnival, one on Princess, so I'm new to this. So any help you can give me down in the comments, any suggestions you have about how to find an affordable cruise, how to pack, what to bring, all that stuff, make sure you comment down below. Actually, let me preface that. While I'm new to cruising, I am not new to being to life at sea. I did 20 years in the US Navy. Almost 10 years of that is sea time. And so I have a lot of time at sea. I've done around the world cruise. So life at sea isn't new to me, but life on a cruise ship and life at sea in the Navy are completely different. So I am kind of like a fish out of water with this whole cruising, trying to figure out my day-to-day -day routine and all those kind of things. So like I mentioned, if you've got any advice, uh, list it down below. And if you haven't subscribed, I think we're at 87,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Maybe me documenting my cruise life will bring a bunch of cruisers in here and I can get up to that 100,000 subscriber mark. That'd be awesome. So if you want to stick around and watch more of my cruise content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone bacon. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land.